Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy! Hi, and welcome to my lesson on creating a walk cycle using the bone tool in Flash CS5. This is the first part of a two-part tutorial. In the first part, I'm going to be showing you how a walk cycle works. So let's take a look at my armature walking. Here we've got our walk cycle. And I've based this walk cycle on one that I've copied from a book called The Animator's Survival Kit, which you can see here. It's a pretty basic walk cycle, but The Animator's Survival Kit is a great book if you're looking for lots of walk cycle examples and to learn more about traditional 2D animation. So let's take a look at this walk cycle that I've copied from the Animator Survival Kit. You can see it's a graphic symbol. If I double click on that, you can see that we've got 24 frames made up of keyframes that last for three frames each. The first one of which uh, is labeled contact, and that's because both feet are on the floor. Now, the first principle of a walk cycle is that your arms and legs mirror each other on both sides. So when this front arm is pointing backwards, the back leg is pointing backwards. And when the front leg is pointing forwards like this, the back arm is pointing forwards as well. So in our next keyframe, it's labeled down, you can see that our character is squatting with his legs spread apart and his arms and legs are still mirroring each other. So our front arm here is mirroring our back leg and our back arm is mirroring our front leg. Next up we've got the passing position. Now this is the only point when our arm won't be mirroring our leg on the other side. You can see that the passing position is where the arms and legs pass each other at a middle point. So you might find that your front arm is in a very similar position to your front leg and your back leg is in a similar position to your back arm. But this is the only position in which that'll happen. If you think about how you walk, your arms and legs have to pass each other at some point, and that's in this passing position. Next up, let's take a look at our up position. You can see that our body has gone up. As our front leg thrusts our character forwards, our back leg is up, as is our front arm, and our back arm is mirroring our front leg. Next up, we've got a second contact position, except the legs are in the opposite position that they were before. So our back leg is thrusting forwards, as is our front arm. Our back arm is going backwards, and so is our front leg. This is another down position, which is a reverse of our original down position, with our back arm pointing backwards, being mirrored by our front leg, etc. Next up, we've got a second passing position, and you can see that our front arm and front leg are in a fairly similar position there because they're passing each other, as is our back leg and back arm. And in our final position, it's another up position with our front arm mirroring our back leg and our back leg mirroring our front arm. So let's go back to our scene. And you so that's how you make a walk cycle. In our next lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to match your armature up to the cycle that I've copied from the Animate Survival Kit. So I'll see you there. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity book on my website, hexjibber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike, and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com, and WH Smiths. Cheers.